y'all, man. Welcome to Just Me and My Boys, your boy Gene. And this is The Last Ride. Thank y'all for being on the journey with me up to this point. Before we get into this week's episode, please make sure you stop what you're doing. Hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on, and make sure you like the video at the end to let me know that you're on board with this journey. I had some unfortunate circumstances happen the past two weeks, so I don't got the game film, nor last week's um, last week's video. That's why you ain't see it. But I was in attendance because I haven't missed a game yet. But um, we're gonna move forward. It's been a journey up to this point. The boys had an up and down season. Um, we was hoping for more ups, and compared to the you know recent years. This is a kind of up season. Um, unfortunately, last week, the boys had a chance to uh, get a signature win again in the playoffs. They played Coconut Creek. It was a home game and it was senior night. That was their chance. If they beat Coconut Creek, then they got a good shot at making it in the playoffs if they was to win out. But, unfortunately, you see the score. Yes, they lost to Coconut Creek, 54 to six. It was a tough game to endure. Like, you know, with 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 the team, it just seems like you know from the from the start what kind of game it's gonna be, and it was just a disastrous game. The score shows it. Um, but um, on a lighter note. And that game, it was senior night, it was senior day. So we got a chance to take a picture with the two seniors. And as you can see, there's the two boys and the support system. So they had a bye week after, so now they come into this week. And this week, you know, they're, they're coming in even though they, they're, they're, they're not in the playoffs now. So they're playing for a winning season now. They up against Boyd Anderson which is a winnable game, and hopefully they come ready to play and, and, and just have some pride because from this point on, it's about pride. You know, how do you want to end your season? If Definitely if you're a senior, how you want to be looked at as a senior, what type of legacy you want to leave behind. So um, let's go to the game and see what the turnout was. <laughs> Yes, yes, game day, game time. Uh, the boys are coming off a of bye week. They had a, 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 a damaging loss coming in the bye week. Um, they lost really bad, and that was their chances of making the playoffs. They had they won that game. So at this point, they're playing just to have a winning season, which hasn't been done in a long time. So um, hopefully the guys uh, took practice serious and come out with a chip on their shoulder. And uh, ready to play ball, ready to play ball, ready to make a difference. And um, let's um, end this season off with a bang. They got to, this the second to the last game, so let's let's hope they come with it. See y'all have time. Let's go here.
halftime. Score is 12 zip. Very upsetting, man. Very upsetting. It's not supposed to be 12 zip. But they actually supposed to be winning this game. The fact that they having these breakdowns and these kids getting these big plays, you know, is 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 right now it's about mental toughness. They can come back. I got a feeling they can come back and win this game, but they got to win this game mentally first. They losing the game mentally. So let's see what happens in the second half. so upset I just I left kind of like I never do that I never leave early but you know I think just for my sanity I had to leave early because what was what what just what was being displayed like you can tell that you know mentally they just wasn't prepared for this game you know you look at the team record that you're playing up against and you think, oh yeah, we're just gonna beat them because they already got a bad record. And um, that wasn't the case. You must come to play every single game. Because any given night, you could be the one that they can have that good game against. And look what happened. Uh, next week is their last game. Let's see how they go out, how they finish the season. See y'all next week, man. Yeah, man, that was um the game. They lost the game. It was very unfortunate um, for them to lose that way. You know, I felt like they should have won that game. Um, the, the seniors just wasn't pushing the issue enough for me. Because when you play a team that has a record that's lesser than yours, you tend to overlook a lot of things. You tend to come into the game a little unprepared, basing the team off their record. But the other team came to play, and before you know it, they put scoreboard, they put scores on the scoreboard, and it was too late to avenge. And um, that was particularly hard for me to deal with because um, like I, I, I speak to my boys. I, 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 I was telling them all week, do not underestimate this team. Do not underestimate this team. Yeah, they two and six, but you gotta look at who they've been playing. They've been playing some real good teams. Do not underestimate this team. And what happened? They underestimated them, and they end up losing. Yeah, this, this, it was a tough loss to endure, man. It was a tough loss to endure. <laughs> Despite the loss, I still had a father moment of the game. Now, my father moment of the game was at halftime because I realized again that these boys are allowing this team to gain confidence and they're just not playing spirit. I had to approach the bench where the, where the players was and I had to give my boys a message. Like, listen, y'all are losing because of y'all fault. They not, they beat, they, they capitalizing off what y'all doing. Y'all energy level is not what it is. You're, you're, you're not communicating with each other. And it was just, 
you know, just a spirited conversation to me, hoping to really like spark something in them. And, you know, nobody likes to see your child down or even like just losing because losing do something to you and definitely to them. So I just had to um, do something about it. I have to do something about it. Uh, you know, of course, you know, um, I don't usually do that because I respect the coaches. You know, but I just feel like I had to do that. It wasn't me. It wasn't me overstepping my boundary because it's not like I was telling them a game plan to go outside the game plan. The stuff I was telling them was stuff they need to be doing for football. Period. You know what I'm saying? And well, it, it, it kind of didn't work because they still ended up losing. But you know, that was my father moment of the game, and um, I had to do something and talk to the boys to try to get their spirits up. <laughs> Now, my play of the game, um, I've been on Amari all year about just making plays. You know, he, he's, he, he likes to say they don't want to throw to my side. So I always tell him, listen, go make a play. Make yourself known in the game. Go make a play. And guess what? Today, he made a play. He made a play. And here it go. Got his first pick of the season. Wish he would have took it back and um, got some points on the board. The fact that he read the play, stepped up and made a play that said a lot. So you know, I was real happy for him to get his first pick. He was excited, and you know that was my play of the game. Amari finally showed up, man. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so right now we're gonna go to Coach Gene. And if you don't know by now, Coach Gene is <laughs> the just me and my boys coach. And um, he's going to have some spirited words of encouragement and motivation and inspiration for the boys about this week and moving forward to next week. So let's tune in to Coach Gene and just hear what he got to say. <laughs> ah. Bring it up, fellas. Bring it up, man. Bring it up, man. Um... Bad loss this week. Bad loss for the past two weeks, just bad losses. You know what I'm saying? We have to understand the purpose of why we plan. We set a goal in the beginning of this season, and I was to have a winning season and make it to the playoffs. And um, we got to honor that goal. You can't think. You go into these games and people just gonna hand you things. That's not how football works. In the game of football, every single thing has to be earned. Every rushing yard, every catch, every tackle, all that has to be earned. But we can't think that people are just gonna give us things. Remember, we're Hollywood Hills. People already have a problem disrespecting us. So we should be playing with a chip on our shoulders. Seniors, I don't see the chip. Seniors, is we just coasting like, you know, it's another day in the office. Nah, seniors, you have four years, four years of people disrespecting you, of people not knowing who your team is, of people um, overlooking you. You have four years of that. This, is, this was your year to, to change the narrative for the others that's coming behind you. Seniors, this, this, this on you, seniors. This on you. Because out of your four years, you have the best senior class. Do you understand that? Four years, you got the best senior class in all your four years of school. Is, isn't that enough for you to keep pushing forward? For you to keep reaching new heights, for you to set new standards. 
But we can't do that expecting people to give us stuff. And we had two straight weeks of us expecting and us being rejected. So seniors, this, this is on you. Next week is your last game. How are you going to be remembered when they ask, when they ask about your number and name? How are you going to be remembered? Seniors, that's what I need you to think about. When they ask about your name and number, how are you going to be remembered? What is going to be your legacy at Hollywood Hills High School? What is going to be your legacy? What is it going to be? What is it going to be? You got to write it. Nobody can't write it for you. You have to write it. So then when you come back to visit the school in the next couple years, oh, that's him. Well, that's number 28. Oh, that's, you know, such and such. That's how I want to be. That's how it should be. Legacy, fellas. Legacy. Seniors, this is your legacy. It might not fit in how we set it out at the beginning of the year, but let's go out on a high note, on a good note. And think about your legacy when it comes to football at Hollywood Hills. Think about your legacy, seniors. You got one more game. One more game. This is your last game to leave a legacy. Go make a play. Do something that everybody's going to remember you by. It's your legacy, fellas. You should, be, you should be motivated when it comes to your legacy. So that's my last, that's this my last question for y'all. Every senior watching this right now, what is your legacy going to be at Hollywood Hills? What is it going to be? It's on you. All right, fellas. Let's go end the season off with a bang. And let's go, man. Get this W. Yes, man. That was Coach Gene. Like I say, man, Coach Gene always come with it. He always come with it, man. And, um, you know, we reached the end of the video. But closing, closing, man, fellas, seniors especially, most of my most of my words go towards the seniors because there's no tomorrow for you. There's no next season for you. I need you to play spirit. Play like it's no tomorrow because it's not no tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully next week, you boys really play up to your potential and end the season off with a bang. All right? Let's go get them. If you made it to this part of the video, thank you for making this part of the video. And if you made it to this part of the video, make sure you hit that like button, all right? And this is, oh, I forgot. Make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on so you can get the last ride as soon as I put it out, all right? Thank you, thank you all for the support. Thank you for the journey. Next week is the last week of the last ride, so hopefully the boys really show off, and I, I got a lot to put on here, you know what I'm saying, exclusive interviews about this season, and just, you know, just um, a real joyful moment, you know, it's, it's, it's the end, but hopefully it's the beginning to something new, alright, so I'll see y'all next week, this your boy Gene, just me and my boys, the last ride, and I'll see y'all, alright, let's go get them Spartans. Last ride.